It's travel day. Hi, I'm Amy. After around two months of lockdown, Ireland is slowly beginning to reopen, with travel now finally being allowed throughout the country, with restrictions. So I decided to take full advantage and go for a much needed staycation in County Galway. I've never been to Galway before, but with plenty of restrictions still in place, I was curious to see what travel was going to be like for the foreseeable future. So right now I'm just at Dublin Airport, so just waiting on the bus to go away. And it's so weird seeing this place like this because like it is literally empty and I've never seen this place empty except like two o'clock in the morning when I was working so strange so really happy that restrictions have lifted now we're able to travel anywhere in the country they do say that don't use public transport unless it's essential however I don't drive so if I want to get anywhere I have to take public transport but I do have a kit in my bag for gloves masks the whole shebang so we should be good the entire bus to myself. This is so weird. So we made it to Galway, so I really hope you can hear me okay with the mask on. So my room for check-in isn't available just yet, so I have about another hour to wait, which isn't too bad. So I'm just walking around the air square and uh, just having a look around to see what Galway has to offer. Unfortunately the weather isn't exactly very nice, it's not even proper raining, it's like that misty kind of rain that gets you absolutely soaked, it's just not nice. now for about two hours um, I actually had a nice little nap because I was up very early this morning and um, so I'll give you a quick room tour so just as you come in first thing you see is a little station here they have tea and a little biscuit which is nice and a kettle you know how much I love kettles a nice mirror bed little coat station there I also love these little chocolates they put on the towels I think that was such a nice little touch and here is the bathroom and they have hand wash there. They also have hair and body soap as well for the shower, which I thought was nice. And um, that's the hotel room. So I didn't really notice much difference about checking in and hotels uh, through this pandemic. Other than the purpose glass at check-in and also hand sanitizer at check-in as well. Um, there was no mention about extra cleaning. I did wipe down surfaces with a wipe anyway, just in case. But um, I'm pretty happy enough to stay here anyway. It looks pretty nice. As far as I know, a lot of places, they are heavily regulated and they actually wouldn't be able to open unless uh, they were checked out by the HSC to make sure that they were okay. So I'm gonna head back out now. The rain has finally stopped, but it's still looking pretty grim out there. walking up the Corrib River up to Gawick Cathedral and it's such a nice area I definitely recommend checking this out because you have this nice big river here and then you have this little river here now as far as I know this little river is for fishing and uh, if you look in and you're lucky enough you get to see little fish I've seen like I think there's salmon they're like these little spotty fish and then these perch as well it's a very really nice area <laughs>
another glorious Irish summer day. It is lashing out. But I've only one day left here in Galway and I'm not letting this spoil it. So today I'm heading down to Salt Hill. So it's about half an hour-ish walk from Galway city. And uh, it's meant to be a nice promenade along the coast. But with the weather being what it is, it definitely won't be as pretty as what it would be, but still gonna see it. I'm definitely gonna have to come back to Galway when the weather is a bit better. Flashes of rain, there's still somebody swimming. That's dedication for you. So behind me here is Black Rock Tower and this is a very popular spot, especially with the locals. So when the weather is good and the tide is in, then a lot of people actually go to this tower to jump off and go for a swim. had a shower and just chilled out for a little while so I had a made nice time here in Galway it's just such a shame about the weather I think I could have got a lot more done if the weather was a bit nicer but um nothing you could do about that but I'd say overall traveling with this pandemic going on it's definitely different you notice a difference straight away between wearing the mask on the bus and not as many people around even just going around Galway as well itself it's doesn't have that big vibrant city that I thought it would be but that's because of the pandemic. In normal times there'd be a lot of live music, there'd be people and all sorts and it's definitely different but overall most things are still the same it's just everyone's just being very cautious and there's a lot more restrictions especially in regards to bars and restaurants if you want to go to a bar or restaurant most of them you have to book in advance and you get like a time slot because you only can spend 105 minutes in a pub as a stance when recording this video. So a lot of times you have to book your place in advance which means you have to plan everything and there are a few places that do walk-ins but at the same time it's very restricted and it's just not the same as what it would have been. So I picked up this thing and I thought it would be really interesting to show you guys because it does have a lot of symbolism with it. So I went into one of the gift shops as well and she said they only opened up yesterday so I got lucky there. And I didn't necessarily buy it for myself because apparently it's bad luck to buy it for yourself. So I might give it to a friend and get my friend to gift it to me or something <laughs> anyway. It has a lot of history and it's a very traditional symbol and that is a clatter ring. So if you don't know what a clatter ring is then it originated here in Galway in the 17th century and the clatter ring is made up of these three little symbols. So the heart is for love, the crown is for loyalty and the hands are for friendship. It's meant to be a nice little gift that you give somebody. I think it's a really nice gift and um, this is just a cheap little ring. It's not made of real gold. Another symbol that's important with it as well is how you wear it. So basically if you wear it with the crown facing outwards it means you're married. If you wear it with the crown facing inwards it means that you're single. Around the Latin Square then you find a few shops that sell clatter rings. Some of them made of real gold, some of them not. And um, there is also a clatter museum as well, all about the clatter ring, which I definitely recommend you check it out. Unfortunately, I couldn't see it, it was closed. But if you're coming to Ireland, you want a nice little tacky gift to give to someone, but has a lot of symbolism and meaning, definitely get a little clatter ring. So tomorrow then I have to get the bus quite early back home, unfortunately. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just putting this video together. I really hope you enjoyed getting an insight into Galway. Don't worry, I will be back to see it at its full potential once this virus kind of clears off a bit more and it's safe to do so. So thanks for watching, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, make sure you hit subscribe. Also click the bell to receive notifications of when I post. Thanks for watching.